the weather is starting to get warmer and with the warmer weather the soil is beginning to get warmer and it's the soil temperature that's key not necessarily the air temperature because the plants will listen to their roots. Can you spot yeah. one remaining stem? Yeah. <laughs> so you might think, my god, what's he done? Um, can you see it? I've cut it back really, really hard. Yeah. And this one's coming off. If I can get my secateurs for it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Demonstration. <laughs> so I'm going to pass it to you can, and have a look at the purple shoots. So we do this on this shrub. This is Sambacus. It's a type of elder and we do this to get better leaf colour. This is an Acer and we all know Acers, the beautiful Japanese ones which tend to be somewhat difficult to grow, uh, more delicate. This is a tough Acer, a more woody Acer. It's called Acer Legundo Flamingo. Flamingo gives you a clue. Pink, if you think yeah. of a flamingo, you think of pink. The new growth, so again I'm going to pull out it. Pass that to you. So when it's pull out it, if you were here you would see lots of little buds here, lots of little growth buds. I don't want these weak ones, so I'm going to take them off. So this will shoot and produce a stem that long, but what it does, it enhances the colour of the leaf. We want, we love leaves, we love colourful. Green leaves are fine, but we want colourful leaves. Yes. So pink, green and white leaves, very nice. Well, 60% of plants in Europe now originate from China, <coughs> roughly 60%, a massive proportion. This is a Himalayan birch. It's the white Himalayan, pure white bark. It's called Betula, Jack Montii, Snow Queen. So what they do at Anglesey Abbey, which if you get chances, just down the road, they pressure wash them gently, not too hard. <laughs> and it fetches the, the old bark off yeah. and all that green algae. Yeah. And they become that initially creamy colour, but then they become ghostly white. And they've got about 50 or 60 mm. trees in a small area like this. And it's really spooky. Mm. It's Daphne called Jacqueline Postil, so mm -hmm. It's been flowering for weeks and weeks, and it's a winter flowering shrub. I can get it. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> really lovely. And the, very briefly, the reason shrubs that flower in winter have the strongest perfume of all, much stronger than summer flowering shrubs, all of them, is because they have to attract our little insect friends in winter. don't want to polish it with your hand and touch it perhaps <clears throat> but it's a lovely colour, cinnamon yeah. and it peels in these lovely little ribbons and it's called the paper bark maple Acer griseum, a Chinese tree the reason this is better than Prunacera in my opinion are the leaves <clears throat> and the leaves come out they're a nicer shape got a bit of an Acer shape more cut leaf but in autumn, they turn the colour of the hall yeah. that colour. Mm. So before they drop in November, October, they're on fire. These little trees, and they are little trees, they're on fire. They're like a bonfire. Clematis, is it clematis? Clematis? It's clematis because clema means climbing in Greek. So clematis. Not that it matters. <laughs> But this looks horrible, doesn't it? Dead. And you think, Whoa. But this is one you don't prune hard. Some you cut back to the ground. So the ones that flower after June, you cut to the ground. The ones that flower before June, you don't prune. Before June, don't prune, is how you remember it. So this flowers in April. So if we cut it down, we lose all the flowers. Yeah. And the buds are just about to break. And they will break from all this old wood. And this is an alpina, and it has delightful purple bells all over it. 